Whether you sew for business or pleasure, efficiency in the workroom is essential. In today's video, I am going to give you three tips on how you can make your workflow go a little bit smoother while you're at the sewing machine. Hello, my name is Sandra Van Sickle, and many of you may know me from my uh, custom drapery workroom business called Sew What's New. And some of you may recognize me from our Tuesday night live show that we have on Facebook called Life with Sandra V. Well, in this video, I want to show you how you can change the thread on any sewing machine without re-threading your machine every single time. Now, some of you may think that this is kind of a silly thing to learn, but if you have as many machines that I have, um, you may forget how to thread some of them. So I'm going to show you how to do that, as well as two other tips that you will find beneficial right here at your machine. I am going to be changing the thread on my Juki Industrial Machine. But as I mentioned earlier, this technique can be used for any machine. So as you can see here, I have this blue thread up top, and I'm just going to pull it toward me. And I'm going to cut it off close to the spool of thread remove the blue thread and I'm going to add the black thread and I'm just going to give it a pull. Now I'm going to pull it closer so that you can see what type of knot I will be tying. Um, I will tell you that you do not want to naturally wrap the threads around your finger and tie a knot this way. Seems pretty simple but if you do that knot, even though it's tiny, it will not go through the eye of the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to show you the knot that will allow the thread to go through the needle. I take my thread and I'm going to wrap it one way. And then I'm going to take it and wrap it the opposite direction. And pull it. Make sure that's nice and tight. That's not slipping. And I'm going to cut off my tail and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to pull the thread and you can see that it will the knot will begin to go through the tension device and down and around and it will slip right through my needle there you go now, two other tips that I wanted to give to you while we were here at the machine is always have a pair of scissors uh, tethered to your machine somewhere. Because I don't know how many times we'll be off sewing and we'll take our scissors with us and then we get to the machine and we need these scissors. So you can see here I have this little uh, clip with this little uh, stretchy cord so that it stays here and I can move it around. And the one other tip while we're here is while you're sewing, always have um, another spool ready and wind your bobbins at the same time. Again, just three wonderful time-saving tips that can help you be efficient in your workroom. If you have enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon. This way you will be notified when my next video comes out. Until then, get those machines humming.